Hey, what up, everybody? Super Breach coming to you. Do you ever feel like some people in the world just shouldn't tweet? Some people probably say that about me. Uh, at Stevie Breach. <laughs> Small little shameless plug there for you, but uh, yesterday, our good friend Kurt Angle, one of the best wrestlers in the world, one of the best wrestlers probably to ever wrestle in any ring for any organization in the world, uh, went on there and sort of secondhandly joined into the Chris Brown feud with CM Punk, uh, saying things like, uh, you know, if CM Punk was to get in a fight with Chris Brown, Chris Brown probably would kick his ass, and, you know, so on and so on. And, and, it just got me to the point where I was just over the edge. And I just was like, Kurt Angle every once in a while will just butt into feuds or just, you know, on other guys' big days, you know, join in and just, you know, rain on their parade. Like, it's their fault that he's stuck in TNA. He's the one who went there. He's the one who signed there. In my honest opinion, Kurt Angle cannot be the best wrestler in the world if he doesn't wrestle in the best organization in the world. When you're, you know, wrestling up against second-rate talent, you know, you are what you are, and, you know, that's what it is. Nobody made you sign with Dixie. Nobody stayed you, made you stay in TNA. You know, you chose to wrestle in amusement parks instead of 70,000-seat arenas uh, for WrestleMania. Last year on WrestleMania, everybody can remember that moments after the, the, uh, the show ended, he went on there and had a temper tantrum because Randy used the angle slam and Swagger was using the, uh, the ankle lock, like their moves that he came up with and he invented. I'm not taking anything away from Kurt Angle. I'm just saying that Maybe the guy shouldn't get behind his keyboard. I don't I don't know what it is. It seems like ever since he left WWE, his mind just has melted. I don't know if it's from the addiction to um, prescription pills uh, that, that he was on for so long, which uh, he says he's clean of these days. Maybe that got in there and, and messed up some screws up there. But um, it's just weird how he just won't let anything, you know, anything go or let anybody else have their day, you know. CM Punk got a lot of publicity yesterday, and he was on a lot of radio shows, internet shows, you know, uh, talking about the situation, which gave a lot of selfless plugs to, to WrestleMania, and, and, you know, just saying that, you know, if he ever got the chance to kick, uh, to fight Chris, uh, Chris Brown, he would kick his ass. Is that fight ever going to happen? More than likely, no. Um, but, you know, it was you know, a big deal that, you know, somebody from outside of wrestling, you know, was able to, you know, sort of challenge him back and taking him take him up was on, on his offer and then you know it gave a lot of people who didn't know anything about wrestling or CM Punk they probably you know searched him on Twitter or on Google or you know Yahoo and you know figured out who he was even if they are a Chris Brown fan who doesn't like wrestling who you know never will you know be a fan of the product they probably found out a little bit about the product yesterday and that's what it was um so Kurt Angle I'm at the point now where I just I shake my head and I feel sorry for you. Uh, you know, if I, if I saw you wrestle a match, you know, I'll give it up to you if it's a good match. But it's just too bad that you'll never wrestle in front of a large crowd again unless you head over to Japan. Uh, but here in the United States, you know, you're not what you could have been because you signed with Dixie and you stayed with TNA. You signed that three-year deal where you said you'll probably wrestle until your last days. And um, it's the same thing with Sting. You know, it's just, it's just too bad we'll never get that, you know, next WrestleMania moment from you. Uh, because you deserve it, and 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 unless you wrestle in front of a you know WrestleMania crowd in the United States, you know it sort of really doesn't matter.